Hi, Stephen here from In Exterior Painters and Decorators, and you're watching In Exterior TV. In this video, I'm going to be prepping and painting a ceiling that's got cracks and screw pops. With that said, let's do this. The materials and tools that I use for this task is a roller, a corner roller, a roller bucket, a paintbrush, paint kettle, Gyprock Easy Fill 60, a filling knife, cork board, a multi tool scraper, a Phillips screwdriver, a dust brush, and I also use some Johnson's White Matte Emulsion Cover Matte Plus, and a roller pole. Right, this is the ceiling that we're going to be doing. As you can see, there's lots of screw pops, there's a crack. And there's also a watermark as well that runs along that crack. If you would like to purchase some of the tools or similar tools that are used for this project, please check out the links in the description below. First of all, we start off by raking out any loose bits of plaster out of the plaster pops and then just giving them a quick sand over. Then we just check with a Phillips screwdriver that the screws are nipped up tightly. I repeat this process on every screw pop. How we deal with this ceiling crack is we get the pointy part of our multi tool scraper and we give it a good rake out and we give it a light sand down as we go along as well. Please feel free to check out my tool store. The links are also in the description below. Along this ceiling crack, there's water damage. If you look close enough, you can see it. So what we need to do is deal with that water damage first. So for this, I use Zinza BIN Shellac Base Primer to seal the watermarks. You can also use oil-based undercoat to seal the watermarks. The only difference being is that the Zinza BIN dries a lot quicker than what the oil based undercoat does but the outcome is the same. What I'm doing now is going around and giving it the first of two fills. Make sure you fill nice and cleanly first time round because when it comes to filling it the second time you won't have to sand it down but you will have to sand it down after you filled the second time before you paint it. If you would like to know how to mix Gyprock Easy Fill 60, please check out the card on the top right hand corner of the screen. See now the fill is dry, I'm giving it its second fill. I've not had to sand it down before I give it its second fill because I filled it cleanly first time. But like I said before, I will sand it down before I paint it. But because I, fill, uh, uh, because I filled it and continue to fill it cleanly, there'll be minimal sanding to do when I do come to sand it. Now it's all been filled twice, 
it's ready for sanding. But guess what? Because we filled it cleanly, there's not much sanding to do. As I'm going around sanding, I'm also dropping the lights as well. These lights have come out quite easy, so I've decided to, to hang them down. But sometimes they can be a right nightmare and you can end up damaging the ceiling. I've also got a video on how to paint around down lighters. So if you want to check that out, please click on the card on the top right hand corner of the screen. Now we're ready for the painting. So I'll start off by going around all the edges with my corner roller and also stabbing in the corners with my brush. Then with my roller, I paint above all the kitchen units. Now with the edges painted, the corners stabbed in and above the kitchen units painted, what we need to do now is roll the rest of the ceiling. What I do is roll the left hand side of the ceiling first, then the right hand side. I repeat this twice. This is the first of two coats that I give this ceiling. Make sure when you painting your ceiling you load your roller up well because if your roller ain't loaded well and you have to start pushing on the roller that's when the ceiling can become hard work and that's also a general indication of when to load your roller up when you have to start pushing against your roller on the ceiling as well And there it is, all finished after having two coats of paint. And that is how to prep and paint a ceiling that's got cracks and screw pops. If you've got anything from this video, please like, share, subscribe Please hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of any of my future videos. And please feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.